Happy Sundays everyone. It's a bit bleak and murky here on the marina and we've got some dodgy old weather coming in. We've been busy bunnies this morning, but I'll tell you that after we've had the titles and I've said, welcome to a brand new vlog. Well, last night we went out, didn't we, Lee? We did. Uh, my old business partner, Mark, and his missus, people I still work for now at Creative Bunt, they took us out for a meal, they did, didn't they, Lee? They did. So we went to a, it was, we went to a Mediterranean restaurant. Sorry if the um, camera's moving all over the place, but there you go. So yeah, so uh, we didn't stay out too late. I think we got back somewhere around 11, didn't we? Or maybe half 11, something like that. Had another couple of beers and went to bed. But we didn't get up, well, I didn't get up till about 20 to 11, and Lee was after 11, I think, wasn't you, Lee? Yeah, about quarter past, I think. Of course, we've had to get up because we've had to rush, you know. So um, I had to get the gas out of the gas locker. locker. And why do you always get filthy green orange stuff all over you? It's so irritating. So I've got loads of green uh, orange paint on me. Um, yeah, on me. Um, what do you call them? Jeans. <laughs> I can't talk properly this morning. I had to take all the flowers off the front, obviously. I've had to go and get new coal. We've had to empty the ash. So that's all go. But they had no kindling. So now we've got to go to B&M's and get some um, kindling or somewhere. So we'll go and have a look in there. <coughs> and see what you can get. Oh, and Lee, do Lee doesn't seem to be quite with herself this morning. She's with me. What's the, what, I don't know how I'm You've got something going on with your chest, haven't you? Yeah, I've got a bad chest. Oh dear. <laughs> see, us oldies can't take going out two weekends <laughs> in a row. I don't know what's up with people. There's too many people about. <laughs> Isn't it, Lee? What's there, what's there? Where's everyone going? <laughs> we don't go out very, or I don't go out very often. What's <laughs> going on, on a Sunday, I don't normally like coming out on a Saturday or a Sunday. So yeah, so we're going to be an M, I say. It's too many people, don't like people, bye. Lee, what? are you being naughty? Or are we being naughty? No. We might be being a bit naughty. Where it's are your we? your idea. <laughs> we're at the healthy uh, salad drive through Asleep, all ready for his Sunday afternoon. Oh, you and Lee's there in her headphones. I think she's watching us on telly, aren't you, Lee? Yeah, catching up. <laughs> you were there. I know. <laughs> That's me sorted for Sunday afternoon. Well, the race might be a bit shite, it's just the same as every other season. But I do like this on my phone, I've got Alonso on board and on my Mac I've got the race going on. And I can pick anyone to be on, one bo on board up here. I like this to be fair. I'm going to get told off for that audio now, bye. What's going on? That's quite tolerant to be fair. Look, what's the tongue? He has tried to chew it. <laughs> That's not been a bad afternoon, I say. So um, F1 was all right. We all know that Max Verstappen's going to bloody win the championship again, aren't we? F1's a bit shit in that way, but lovely to see Fernando up there. Oh, I love Fernando Alonso. Um, I've been reading a few of the comments on, 
on our videos. And some of you do make me laugh. There was a post by, was it Christopher Crawley? Or Christopher Crawley, sorry if I haven't got your name right. Um, call it, uh, pulling me up on um, vlogging while I'm driving. Let's see what you lot think right, about me vlogging while I'm driving. First of all, my cameras are um, voice activated, so I can, well, I'm not going to say it because it'll bloody turn the camera off, but I can tell it what to do, yeah? Do you talk to your passenger in a car? I'm guessing most of you do, otherwise you'd be a bit boring git, wouldn't you? Well, I'm being called out on it and I think, well, it ain't any different than me talking to a passenger in the car, having a discussion. And this was the one about the discussion about English restaurants, which no one's, no one's answered actually, by the way. Uh, I had one person answer saying, your English restaurant is a pub. Well, most pubs sell bloody lasagna and bloody pasta, which is Italian. So I'm sorry, that one don't hold out. So uh, is, is there any English takeaways? No. Anyway, we're going off, off course now, aren't we? <laughs> well, I'm sorry, I'm not really taking the piss, Christopher, but you, you, you're trying to wind me up by saying that I shouldn't vlog while I'm driving. But as I say, I don't see this any different than talking to Lee while I'm driving. Because I, I can talk shit for England. All I have to say is, um, well, I can't say it because, again, this camera will start doing its own thing again. But you can say, <coughs> start recording, <coughs> stop recording. You don't have to touch nothing. So that, that's the only thing I could say you have any issue with. But as for talking to a camera, vlog, what's the, I don't understand what you're getting at with the difference between vlogging and a conversation with someone in the car. It's very bizarre. Sometimes I think people whinge for the sake of whinging. I honestly do. Bye. Shall I tell you what's much worse than vlogging in a car? Sorry, Christopher. <laughs> I am winding you up a little bit now. I've got to go for blood test tomorrow. So that means I'm not allowed to have any alcohol now from here on. So I have to drink some water and nonsense. Otherwise, they won't be able to prick me hard. They won't be able to insert the prick into me because I'll be too dry. So I, I have to make sure I'm moist. So I'm going to have to drink some water and stuff. And then they, then, then they can put the prick inside me and um, ascertain my uh, levels of sugar. And then I've got to let me make a... Well, Lee's got to make a phone call because she's going to have to drive me to have my eye thing done as well for um, the diabetes nonsense to see if I'm blind. Well, I can bloody see my camera, so I'm not that blind. But no, I get that. I, I didn't have one last year because... Um, this is the truth, right? I didn't have one last year because unless I wore a mask, I couldn't have one. And you know me, I ain't wearing a bloody mask. So um, they're all fucking idiots. So, uh, yeah, so I missed it last year. Same with, uh, well, the same with the blood tests and all that sort of stuff. I missed some treatments because they were trying to force me to wear a muzzle. And I still think that's all wrong. And I still think all you that agree with that think, well, you, you can't get any treatment if you've had a muzzle. Sorry. I don't agree with any of you. I think you're idiots. Because... <laughs> what do you really think a mask was going to do? It's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. But there we go. I've had a nice day. I hope you've all had a nice Sunday as well. And um, I'll leave it there for a bit. <laughs> Bye. The fabulousness of a rich monkey, I say. Let's whack the old toasted sandwich on. This is where it's a bit complicated. Try get this off the side. There we go. Hey, hey. Got to love a rich monkey, I say. Work it down to half heat. You've seen me do this before, haven't you? This is so wonderful. Sounds splendid, doesn't it? Let's have a little wiggle and see what's going on. <laughs> Look at that. It's rather golden, doesn't it? Should we pick up the, um, the old thingy bollocks? Mmm. There we are then, look at that. Isn't that rather splendiditious or so? Not a bad chef, am I?
Should we cut it in half, see what it looks like? You're jealous. Bye. Good morning, everyone, and um, happy Mondays. I'm not really that happy because I've got to go and have me um, blood taken. And I'm a bit of a Jesse when it comes to having me blood taken. I don't like needles. That's why I'm wearing this hat so that I can pull it down like that. And I'm, no, I'm not even joking. I will have to do that when they're um, putting the needle in me. <laughs> Anyway, wish me luck, bye. <laughs> well, there we are then. I've had my test and it didn't hurt that much. It's weird, isn't it? I don't suppose any of us really like having blood taken, do we? Unless there's some weirdos out there that like being injected. <laughs> anyway, big brave boy going back to the boat, bye. What a brave bunny. It's going to hurt pulling that off more than it did with the injection. Not injection, what am I about? A needle, bye. Well, I've been a buzzy, buzzy binny. <laughs> a busy bunny. I've been doing me proper shop, not the vlog couple one. So uh, these are quite good. I've been doing me clowns. So I've got a series of horror stuff on here. So you can go in one of these. There you go. I'm only videoing my screen, just so you can see what I've been up to. So I haven't been doing a lot of anything else. You can change all the colours on here. So the link to this shop will be below somewhere. So you can have a look. There's going to be some amazing stuff on there over the coming weeks and months. So, um, thank for everyone. Bye. That's an advert by Paulus of Woodname. <laughs> <laughs> you get it, you're mighty hound, Hector. Are you mighty? Look at this out here, isn't it glorious? It's a lovely evening, Tuesday evening. And apparently, according to my phone, it's snowing. And it says it's gonna stop in 10 minutes. <laughs> so these weather apps are great, aren't they? So yeah, I do remember, we haven't really had snow, any decent snow, for years. Probably since the beast from the east, when was that? 2000, well, certainly before lockdown, it was probably 2017, 2018, was it? I don't know, I can't remember. And anyway, because we haven't had much snow, they called it global warming, didn't they? And now that we're about to have some bloody snow, which is supposed to be coming in, well, it was supposed to be coming in today, or maybe overnight, Thursday, Friday, whatever, they're calling it climate change. <laughs> they should make up their bloody minds, I tell you, make up their bloody minds. It's just absolute nonsense, absolute nonsense. Yeah, not really a lot happened today. Been quite quiet. Um, not a lot of work, I don't know what's going on that. I would have expected my work to uh, start picking up by now, but it hasn't. Um, I've been doing stuff for the shop, so, so I'll keep myself busy doing loads of other designs. So that hopefully that will come to fruition, you know, in the next four or five months, because it takes that long really to get it all sorted. And if it doesn't, I will. I'll go and drive for bloody Amazon or something. Bye. Look here. Peace home, everybody.
<laughs> Coral and coconut curry. What's that? Oh. Well, maybe I've only cut the slices. I haven't actually cut them yet. This is going to be interesting. Bye. Lee, yeah. you're excited about your infusion tea bag things. <laughs> your friend tea bagged you, didn't she? Did <laughs> it explain? She offered me a herbal tea and then those fell out of the cupboard. And then I said, oh, I've been looking at some of them. Not for tea necessarily, but for... Cannabis. For like a, a bouquet garni or that kind of thing. What? Well, she thinks she's French. <laughs> so she said, oh, here, I had some. So she gave me loads. So, and if you don't want these, because sometimes there's like, that's got mustard seeds in, so... I don't know what they'll be like if we actually ate the mustard seed. So I'm going to put them in the oh, in the bag, and then then. You so can... is that what they're for? Putting spices in? Yeah, I, or, or tea, because sometimes you buy tea like what, loose leaf, loose leaf, or like Torden beers, or infusions and things. They're um, um, they're well a bit like that. Okay. So yeah, so I'll cut them up and put them in there. Because we always have the chilli in it because we like it nice and hot. So, uh... Lee, I'm panicking a little bit, aren't I? <laughs> yes. <laughs> a little bit low on beer supplies and it might snow. No. That'd be a disaster. I'd walk to fucking Tesco's. Oops, <laughs> sorry about the language. I'd have Maybe. to take a rucksack. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we need to go there tonight. No, nah, we don't. Yeah, I'll pop up there. No, nah, don't worry about it. Bye. Bye. Oh, look at this then. What's it again, Lee? Coral and coconut curry. Now you should be videoing me tasting it for a change because you, you cooked it. There you go, have the camera. Thank you. <clears throat> and what do you think of my, <laughs> my cooking, know, darling? <laughs> you would expect this to be American, wouldn't you, with the coral or something? You'd expect there to be horses and bollocks. Oh dear. Of course, isn't it? Mm, it's quite nice actually. It's quite smooth. Yes, I think it said mellow and something rather. Right? No, not hot. But then, well, yeah, well, I put the chilli in it though, so mm. uh, I always do. It's all right, like. It tastes nice. Plus, it's not. Burn your bollocks up on. No. Thank you, bye. Bye. Well, that went down well, didn't it, Lee? It did indeed. <coughs> You've got a little bit of a tight chest, haven't you, darling? Yeah, I have a little bit. Oh, I wish you had a tight fanny. <laughs> I wish you had a big cock. I am a big cock. Well, yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> so I wanted to know what Carolan, what Carolan, where Carolan curry comes Carolan from. Carolan coconut curry. Because it was really nice. Because to me it tasted, it, I mean, it, I guess it's going to be Indian. But to me it tasted a little bit more like Malay or, you know, because it's milder and coconutty. A bit like, well, it wasn't like a korma. It just didn't quite taste Indian to me. It tasted more on the Oriental side. Because we had that, what was that um, chicken I had last night? Because that's Korean, cat, wasn't it? Katsu chicken. That's Korean, isn't it? I don't know, is it? Is it either Korean or Japanese? I think it's Korean. Oh, they sell it in Wagamama's, so. And what, and, and what is that? <laughs> it's not a Chinese restaurant. That's Japanese, isn't it? I'm not sure, possibly. <laughs> anyway, get on with it. Tell yeah, us what your sorry. Karelian... Cornelius. Source, source facts on the wrapper. The southwestern state of Kerala is famed for its abundance of coconut trees and its spice gardens. The region has a truly fantastic cuisine which builds on the wealth of local ingredients and is influenced in equal measure by its Hindu, Christian and Muslim communities. This coconut based curry flavoured with curry leaves and mustard seeds and soured with tomatoes and tamarind is a true classic and celebrates all the best flavours of Kerala. It still doesn't tell you where it is. That does not happen because it can't go up. <laughs> it's Indian. It told you at the start, didn't it? Coastal it just India. It said southwestern state. Mm. Yeah, it said coastal somewhere. Using the best coastal ingredients. Mm. 
Yeah, it's obviously down on the the pointy end. Okay. <laughs> but what are they going on about a bun dance? Is that where bread go for a party? You are laughing inside. Bye. <laughs> Keep them still. <laughs> I look like Dennis Ely. Uh, our younger viewers won't know who Dennis Ely is. <laughs> Keep them still. I can't when you're putting the thing oh, in my okay. eyes. I'll get your eyebrow, uh, your eyelashes instead. Love this, is, isn't it? <laughs> this is four millimeters. If anyone's interested, you're talking about my cock again. <laughs> Don't say yeah, you weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> Lee's picking up shit. He did two poos. Happy Wednesdays. As you can see, it's snowing. It's not good snow. Don't think it's going to settle. Unless it gets a bit heavier. It's just, it's a letdown, isn't it? I want real nice heavy snow, like, you know, a few inches of snow on the ground. Because Hector still hasn't seen that, you know. But that's selfish because it wouldn't be good for us financially because he wouldn't be able to get to work. I'll tell you. They even had to turn the fire up, I say. So we're smoking a bit. Bye. Now that's a rather lovely fire going, isn't it? So while it's cold outside, it's lovely and warm aboard, Anna. I say, I say, I say. <laughs> I almost said it's warm inside, Anna, but that'd have been rude. Right then. I know you're all very concerned about the beer situation aboard, Anna, that I mentioned last night. So I'm gonna go out and rectify the problem. I'm only gonna get a few. I'll get four bottles of Hogarden, I think. I fancy some nice Belgian vice beer. See you in a bit, bye. Well, that wasn't as traumatic as I thought it'd be. I actually spoke to a human and I actually paid cash. You know how difficult that seems to be getting in stores now. Honestly, I had to walk miles to find a blooming normal till. So all the first lot are either self-service nonsense, they should pay me for scanning my own stuff, surely because I'm taking work off one of their employees. But yeah, so there we are. I'm all safe and all okay for beer tonight, everybody. I'm sure you'll be happy to hear that. Bye. <laughs> well, of course, I just a little bit. I didn't really just go to Tesco's just for um, some hoe garden. I went to get some brioche buns because I'm going to make some weirdo burgers tonight because Lee said I have to cook for myself because she's off with a friend tonight. Uh, cutting her hair, Louise's. So um, I've got to feed myself, I've been instructed. So as I say, oops, let me just press the bridge. I thought I'd cook myself some weird burgers. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with them. But it's not, not normal meat. I'll, I'll show you. It's, I called it flaffel or something last time, but it isn't. It's something weird. But I'll show you that when I cook it tonight. Bye. Well, of course, I made a mistake by calling it vice beer. It's actually a veet beer, as you can see there. Mmm, dilly dilly everyone. And make me dinner soon. Bye. As Lee's not here, I can light some incense. She doesn't like incense. I love it. Well, it's been sort of snowing all day and it's it's not, it's not very deep, is it? No, it's just nothing. I'm so disappointed.
I've got to show you something. This is um, the, the insert we had in the sink. I don't even really know what it's for, but this was in the sink before. Lee done, obviously does this. But she decided that that was worn and uh, she wanted this one. So I've just done the washing up, right? And I'm going to see if you can see the, the dodgy old design flaw in this. <laughs> I'm rather moist, let's put it that way. Here we go, watch. So depending on where this is sitting, Hey! <laughs> Look at that! I tell you, oh, oh. <laughs> it's all too. Oh my God, I'm soaked. Bye. It's all too much. <laughs> right then, it's time for me to do some cooking. I say, as I promised, we're doing something weird because we're not using normal meat, but I'm doing like a, some sort of dirty burger sort of thing, and uh, we're going to be using. I'm just showing this to the other camera now. That we're going to be using fricadellen which I don't really even know what it is, but it's not like normal meat. So there's our major ingredient there. And of course we have our Tesco's brioche buns there. And we have an onion. Uh -huh, uh -huh. We have some everyday spice. We have some hot chili powder, of course. And we have some heaps of chili puree. And we have a couple of um, cheeses. And we have some bacon. So basically all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut up the onion and um, well I'm just gonna cook it and I in the ridge monkey. So let's see what happens. I haven't ever I haven't ever done this before, so who knows what on earth is gonna happen. <laughs> right, let's go on with it, bye. Right then I'm about to put glasses on. So we're looking at this, the fricadellen. I'm sure that's how you say it, because obviously I'm uh, fluent in Norwegian or whatever it is. This is basically chicken and pork meat, partially minced, 81% onions, egg white, bread crumbs. Let's just put it this way. There isn't a lot of meat in it, but it does taste really meaty. And look, look, one pound for two mighty burgers. Now in Booker's, I think I've said before, this was either 77, 71p or 77p or 75p, 70 something p. And you can't beat that, can you? Come on. And this is going to be a massive meal for me to be honest. You can, you, obviously, I'm not going to cook anything else with the burgers. So um, I'm just going to cover these in some spice and I'll get back to you. good don't they they do look good come on admit it right let's have a little look see what they're like oh yes can you see that so that's a weird meaty sort of texture but let me tell you for a quid they are awesome honestly I'm such a good chef. Not too, they're not as hot as I expected, but a good old kick to them. Mmm, happy days. Mmm, oh my goodness me. Hey, <laughs> bye. Well, 
I'm not normally one to blow my own trumpet. I mean, I'm not as supple as I used to be, am I anyway? And if I was blowing my own trumpet, I'd never leave the bloody boat, would I? <laughs> anyway, I digress. I have to say, it's still sucking me teeth. I have to say, that was absolutely fantastic. I'm not joking. Honest to God, if I was served that up in a restaurant as a dirty burger type thing, maybe with salt and chilli um, chips, I'd be more than happy. It was absolutely... I'm a little bit... Um, upset that I never cooked it for anyone I just cooked it for myself it'd be nice for Lee to have tasted my burger um yeah so no that was really good if you can get hold of some of that freaking dill or whatever it's called have a go with it put some spices on it like I just did and have a go honestly you won't regret it I honest to god think that was awesome so um there we go and I guess with that we're getting towards the end of the vlog anyway so shame Lee's not here to say goodbye to you all, obviously. But if you have enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and press the old bell thing and um, subscribe and do all that sort of stuff. Uh, more than 50% of you that watch this aren't subscribed. Press the subscribe button, it really helps. Honest to God, it really helps us. I'm not gonna beg. Please press it, please press it. But anyway, I hope you all have a great weekend. Hope you have a great week coming and we'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves and you know we love you. Bye.